Good morning. So uh, happy Thursday. So for today's assignment, you will be using this website. It's a free comic panel creator. So this, I only want three panels, you know, straight and simple three. I don't want one. I don't want two. I don't want four. I want three panels. You're going to what? So what you're going to be doing for today is you're gonna, going to be creating uh, this three comic panel in order to kind of describe what happens in chapter 19. So there is a very big revelation of what happens. And I want to see if you can able you can describe it and like summarize the chapter and get down to that point. So uh, there's a toolbox down here that allows you to go between the three panels, and then this allows you to move whatever's in there. This will allow you to kind of scale it to size. So if you want something bigger or smaller, you can scale it to size. This will allow you to bring things to the front. So I'm gonna go down here real quick. So you could find all the stuff that you need right here. So if you want to leave the background white, that's fine. If you want to put the background in, I suggest that you put the background in first. Because if you try to put the background into something and you already put stuff, oh, nice. Uh, so that that actually works perfect. Actually, I I, I was I was playing. I wasn't. But here's where here's where it gets tricky. So. If you want to have a text box, then you would go to balloons and prompts, and you could type in here. You don't have to quote things uh, word for word, but if you would like to, that would make the comic a lot more realistic. But if you want to uh, kind of retell it your way, that's fine, as long as everything you're doing is appropriate. So, for example, I could have Jonas say that this job is tough, bruh, and that's it. Simple as that. So the bring the front, front function uh, works where if you accidentally put Jonas behind him, just click bring to front and click Jonas and he'll come up front. Or you can bring that to front. Do not click on the background because if you click on the background, now everything's stuck behind it and there's no way to click it. So you'd have to delete the background and then start over from there. So it's quick and simple. And like I said, three panels. You could include little objects and everything. Uh, if you need any assistance, I'm here to help you with any of it, just to kind of like, I guess, guide you through it. The flip function works where you can flip things back and forth. I wouldn't do it with the text, though, because it will flip the text in reverse as well. So I would only do it with just the background objects or with the actual characters that you put in. When you are done, uh, make sure that your name, you name the comic, the Giver Chapter 19 comic. Put your name, this could be your initials, it could be your first name and last initial, or it could just be your last name. As long as I know that you're the one that did it, then that's fine. You'll go to print email, and do not worry about one or two. I would go right to three, place your name in there. So I put my initials, place your email, and then email it to me. So these are my. this is my email right here, and then email the comics. As soon as you email it, it will send right to me, and I will be able to view it, and then I'll be able to grade it from there. So... It's quick, it's simple. Hopefully, uh, if anyone needs any help, I will be online to kind of help you out with it. Uh, and I hopefully you guys have a great Thursday.